Well, you know about the three people that died, right? Ah, just checking. Don't worry about it, brother. Avez-vous rencontré des exorcistes? Through the Vatican, I was given access to uh, friends of Gabriele. I was given access to colleagues of his, to uh, a man who had performed 160 exorcisms with Father Amor. So, you know, there was a lot of conversation and a lot of things to learn. I think what fascinated me most about the character was his real life, you know, and the things that I was able to, to read about his real life. And a lot of those things we've pushed into the movie to give it a more grounded base of reality. So the things that he's experiencing, he has a personal connection to, you know. But one of the things that, that kept coming up over and over again with the people that I talked to is that Gabriella Morth had a great sense of humor. So we mm -hmm. took a lot of time and, and effort making sure that, you know, that aspect of the character was on display as well. Mon cauchemar, c'est que la France Sois championne du monde. Arrête de te cacher derrière tes petites blagues. S'est-il passé des choses étranges pendant le tournage? Well, you know about the three people that died, right? Ah, just chicken. Don't worry about it, brother. <laughs> you know, the fact that we shot it in Ireland means that was we were surrounded by a whole lot of very practical people. So I think sometimes on film sets of movies like this, people can get a little bit lost in what they're doing and coincidental things or things that have happened through a lack of duty of care or whatever end up being attributed to dark spirits. So I think everybody on this movie from the producers down were just aware of keeping the balance. There's probably no great interesting stories to tell from the set because everybody was very focused on the job at hand and you know understands the difference between you know real life and and you know imagination. Quel est votre rôle de rêve? See, I'm, I'm such an actor, man. You've got to remember that, you know, I've been doing this since 1970, when I was six years old, you know. I didn't step into feature films till I was 25, but I'd worked very consistently as an actor up until then. So that's a 19-year apprenticeship. You know, whenever I finish a job, it would, it would take me less than a day before the f thought floats through my mind, will you ever work again, you know? I have a very working class basic attitude towards it and I, I'm excited by the job and I still love my job, you know. So I don't covet, you know. I don't sit there and go, oh, I want to be Hamlet, you know. I don't, I don't do that. But what I do is I stay open to what the possibilities are. So ended up making a lot of choices in my career purely because of the excitement I get out of reading something. And that's what I'm looking for, you know. With this particular film, I could see potentials, but the thing that got me interested wasn't necessarily the script, it was the potentials of what you would do to bring Father Gabriella Morth into a movie. But you know, I'm not like other people. I only go to work when I want to be there. There's always motivation for me to get up at four o'clock in the morning because I've decided that this is where I want to be. So I don't have that thing that some people get at my age where they're very cynical about their job. You know, I still am in love with the art form of feature films.